Voyager 1, NASA's farthest voyaging rocket, maintains its fantastic assignment via space, flawlessly communicating great records from the private areas of the universe for almost 50 years. This extra-special space probe has revolutionized our information of space, but as of past due, the space equipment has been communicating disturbing facts back to Earth, leaving the whole space industry in surprise. Are those troubling indicators the result of a technical breakdown or the sports of extraterrestrials? Join us as we discover the reality behind those lovely transmissions. Since the beginning of recorded history, researchers have been enthralled by using the secrets that lie beyond our heavenly barriers. This hobby prompted the ancient launch of the Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 shuttles among different incredible space missions. These momentous missions, which have been mentioned for quite a while, started out with the launch of Explorer 2 from NASA's Kennedy Space Center on August 21, 1977. Fourteen days later, on September 5th of that same year, Explorer 1 followed suit. These twin probes, each weighing a significant 720 kilograms, similar to a small car, had been propelled into space during a unique alignment of the outer planets. During their spectacular odyssey, these brave voyagers navigated distinct directions and speeds, leading to a crucial moment on December 15, 1977, when Explorer 1 outpaced its same duel because of differences in their paths. Since then, Explorer 1 has become a considerable asset, providing us with a wealth of data and unraveling space-related secrets. Before we delve into Explorer 1's startling new discovery that greatly surprised the whole space industry, let's explore the remarkable pictures captured by the rocket during its pivotal Jovian imaging challenge in 1978. Explorer 1 was positioned approximately 265 million kilometers from Earth. From this vantage point, it communicated a stunning amount of photographs back to Earth. In January 1979, it launched into an extraordinary 100-hour mission, capturing a spellbinding time-lapse movie showing 10 rotations of Jupiter. A cornucopia of 3,750 pictures allowed us to examine Jupiter's fantastic dance in vivid detail. In the ensuing months, Explorer 1 wandered through the Jovian moon system, creating a striking revelation the presence of a small ring surrounding Jupiter and new moons, which further extended our knowledge of Jupiter's charming space. To ensure safe passage and prevent a potential impact with Titan, one of Saturn's moons, corrective maneuvers were executed. Explorer 1 continued its celestial journey around Saturn, revealing four extra moons, Mimas, Enceladus, Tethys, Dion, and Rhea. With the culmination of the Saturn mission, Researchers decided to conclude the Explorer Planetary Mission, pushing both Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 beyond the limits of our planetary group. Leaping through space at an incredible rate of 325 million kilometers each year, in January 1990, another chapter began, the Explorer Interstellar Mission. During this stage, Explorer 1 brought some of the most famous images in history, immortalizing the Sun and most of the planets. One individual who played a vital role in extending the missions beyond their initial objectives was the distinguished astronomer Dr. Vasile Sands. As a part of the Explorer mission's imaging team, Dr. Sands ardently advocated for capturing one final set of images as a goodbye gift to humanity. Against all odds, his steadfast dedication bore fruit on February 14, 1990, when Explorer 1, placed 6 billion kilometers from the Sun, launched into a visual tour. This tour culminated in the planetary group family photo, totaling 60 stunning images. During its encounter with Neptune, Voyager 2 accomplished an extraordinary accomplishment by recording wind speeds exceeding 13,100 meters per second, making it the fastest wind ever documented within our local planetary group. As the rocket ventured within 280 million kilometers of Neptune's blue methane-rich surroundings, it provided us with fantastic insights into this distant celestial body. Significantly, Neptune's largest moon, Triton, was discovered as one of the coldest residents within our planetary group, with surface temperatures plunging to a frigid minus 391 degrees Fahrenheit. Triton's extraordinary features, including its nitrogen gas-spewing ice volcanoes that pushed icy debris five miles into its nebulous surroundings, also captivated our imagination. These outstanding discoveries elevated our comprehension of the giant range and complexity of celestial objects living within the farthest reaches of our neighborhood planetary organization. Don't go anywhere. 
The Explorer 1 rocket has currently made one in all its most horrifying discoveries. But first, let's discover what it has performed in the last 45 years. The accomplishments of the Explorer Twin Checks were nothing short of tremendous. More than four many years ago, their initial observations of Jupiter and Saturn's moons left scientists in awe and shattered previous assumptions about these remote worlds. These moons, once believed to be dormant and heavily scarred like our own moon, turned out to be teeming with geological activity. Explorer 2 particularly performed several fantastic feats. During its journey, it made records in 1986 by becoming the first commute to fly by Uranus. Just three years later, it accomplished another remarkable feat with a flyby of Neptune. Up to the current day, it remains the sole rocket to have ventured on this type of path. As the Explorer rockets continued their journey, NASA implemented various measures to extend their operational lifespan. Over recent years, unnecessary components and heaters have been deactivated to preserve energy ensuring that these brave explorers can keep their mission well into the next decade. Their expected mission end date is set for 2030. For the scientists and engineers who've been involved in this excellent mission from the very beginning, the result of the explorer missions is both a moment of delight and a tinge of depression. Their steadfast dedication and passionate efforts have far surpassed their initial expectations. The wealth of data returned by the explorers has provided valuable insights fueled numerous scientific discoveries, and ignited the imagination of countless researchers and space enthusiasts. Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 were no ordinary space probes. They were meticulously designed as robust structures, with a rotation rate over 15 times slower than the hour hand of a clock. This design decision minimized visible blurring as the spacecraft captured images and data while traveling through the infinity of space. Even before their encounters with the outer planets, their spectacular imaging abilities began to astonish scientists and the public alike. The spacecraft began transmitting images of Jupiter before reaching the gas giant. These early images, showing the swirling clouds and iconic Great Red Spot, delighted audiences at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. But it was the discovery of active volcanoes on Jupiter's moon Io that truly took the spotlight. Io, slightly larger than Earth's moon, turned out to be the most volcanically active body in our solar system. The spacecraft's instruments identified abnormal signals from Io, which were confirmed by the distinctive images they captured. Towering volcanic plumes and a surface scarred by volcanic eruptions were revealed. One of Io's most outstanding volcanoes erupted with a force ten times greater than Mount St. Helens, covering an area nearly the size of France. While the spacecraft's cameras were ultimately shut down to conserve power and memory before their journey into interstellar space, it's noteworthy that the images they captured did not include Mercury and Mars for various reasons. Aside from the Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 interstellar probes, NASA has also operated other outstanding spacecraft like Voyager 10, Voyager 11, and New Horizons. Explorer 1 was surpassed by Voyager 10 on February 17, 1998, marking the occasion when Voyager 10 became the most remote spacecraft. Explorer 1 continued its solitary journey for an additional 14 years before finally entering the interstellar environment on August 25, 2012. Although there were no other space probes in sight to witness, NASA didn't publicly announce this remarkable achievement until 2013. What processes ensured the success of the Explorer missions? One method stood out as particularly remarkable gravity assist maneuvers. These maneuvers played a crucial role in propelling Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 on their audacious venture to explore the outer reaches of our solar system. To reach these remote destinations and gather valuable data, the spacecraft needed more than just their own propulsion systems. They needed a boost. Gravity assists provided just that. Imagine Explorer 1 approaching Jupiter, a giant gas giant with an enormous gravitational pull. With meticulous precision, Explorer 1 swung by Jupiter at the correct angle and speed. Jupiter's gravity tugged at the spacecraft, accelerating it to a higher speed and providing it with a significant boost. Performing a gravity assist maneuver requires great precision. If Explorer 1 had approached Jupiter at the wrong angle or speed, the slingshot might have led to a disastrous deviation from its intended route. But the great minds behind these missions successfully executed these gravity assists multiple times, 
propelling the Explorer spacecraft on an astounding journey through the local planetary group. Explorer 2, for example, utilized gravity assists from Jupiter and Saturn to reach Uranus and Neptune. These celestial maneuvers were of crucial importance in making the Grand Tour possible. The Explorer missions owe much of their success to these gravity assist maneuvers. Explorer 1 continued to reach interstellar space, with Explorer 2 soon following suit, all thanks to the accuracy of these maneuvers. The idea behind gravity assist is simple, but the execution is extremely complex. Explorer 2's grand tour required a level of precision where missing any of these slingshots could have led to a failed mission. But the dedicated individuals behind these missions were determined and steadfast in their pursuit of knowledge. While gravity assist played a significant role in exploring the universe, another crucial element ensured the success of the Explorer missions. The Deep Space Network, DSN, often considered the interstellar phone line that kept us connected to our brave Explorer probes as they ventured into the great unknown. The DSN, although less flashy than a spacecraft, is equally fundamental. The Deep Space Network is a system of large radio antennas strategically located around the world, including locations in California, Spain, and Australia. These enormous dishes, ranging from 26 to an impressive 70 meters in diameter, act as massive amplifiers, facilitating communication with spacecraft traveling beyond our planet. The Explorer probes, equipped with cameras, sensors, and instruments, served as our eyes and ears in the vastness of space. To make sense of the data they sent and to provide them with new instructions, a robust communication system was essential. That's where the DSN came into play. Imagine Voyager 1, on its way to the outer reaches of the solar system, sending a message back to Earth as a faint signal traveling at the speed of light. As it traverses the endless expanse, the signal weakens. But the DSN's vast radio antennas are poised to capture that whisper. They lock onto Voyager's weak signal, honing in on it and transforming it into data that scientists can analyze. But the DSN doesn't just receive signals. It also sends commands. The Explorer missions are dynamic endeavors, requiring scientists and engineers to adjust trajectories, redirect the spacecraft, or tweak instruments. The commands are sent via the DSN, which transmits them into space to reach Voyager and guide it. It operates as a two-way communication between Earth and the farthest human-made objects in the universe. One great aspect of the DSN is its tireless operation. It works tirelessly 24-7, listening for those distant signals. It's like an unblinking eye on the universe, ensuring that we stay connected to our space probes even when they're billions of miles away. The Explorer mission stands as a testament to the power of collaboration and innovation. While the spacecraft embarked on their grand journeys, the DSN ensured they were never truly alone. It bridged the gap between our planet and the unknown, allowing us to explore the outer planets and venture into interstellar space. Did Explorer 1 experience a breakdown, or were aliens involved? During its remarkable 45-year journey in space, the Voyager 1 space probe has remained healthy, diligently performing its mission. However, today, experts have observed some abnormalities in performance that have sparked interest and curiosity. Explorer 1 is currently sending irregular signals back to Earth, creating the impression that it's uncertain about its actual location coordinates. What makes this discovery even more complex is that the initial data received from Explorer 1 were incomprehensible and impossible, leaving NASA scientists puzzled. Upon examination, scientists discovered that the culprit behind the distorted data was the Attitude Articulation and Control System, AOX. This embedded equipment is responsible for measuring, reporting, and adjusting the spacecraft's position in space. It has an antenna directed toward Earth, allowing it to send data back home. The malfunction had occurred when the software suddenly switched to sending its telemetry data through a faulty embedded computer that had been dormant for years. NASA engineers were able to correct this anomaly by instructing the spacecraft to resume sending data through the appropriate computer. Consequently, uncorrupted data from Explorer 1 is once again reaching NASA. However, the question that remains unanswered is why the spacecraft switched to the malfunctioning computer in the first place. While NASA scientists have put forward a hypothesis that a faulty command from another onboard computer might have caused the abnormal behavior, they have yet to pinpoint the exact cause. To get to the bottom of this mystery, Susan Dodd, 
the project manager for the interstellar mission, said that they intend to conduct a thorough memory readout of the spacecraft and fully analyze its operations. This in-depth examination aims to study the issue that led to the telemetry problem. It's noteworthy that despite the erratic data transmission, the spacecraft itself appears to be functioning well. None of the spacecraft's fault safety systems were triggered. Explorer 1 has not been forced into safe mode, and its signal remains strong. A possible factor contributing to this inconsistency is the harsh environment of space. Cosmic radiation and extreme temperature fluctuations can pose challenges to the operation of a spacecraft like Explorer 1. Cosmic radiation consists of high-energy particles originating from remote stars and galaxies. These particles can penetrate spacecraft systems, causing electrical disturbances, data signal distortions, memory errors, and data corruption. Moreover, temperatures in the vastness of space can drop to bone-chilling lows or soar to scorching highs, putting immense stress on the spacecraft's components. Despite the rigorous testing and meticulous engineering that went into designing Explorer 1 to withstand these conditions, the harsh realities of space can still take a toll over time. Another intriguing possibility that has captured the imagination of some is the idea of extraterrestrial interference. Could Explorer 1's anomalous behavior be attributed to the actions of intelligent beings from beyond our solar system? While this idea may seem more akin to science fiction than reality, it's not entirely outside the realm of possibility. The vastness of space and the countless exoplanets it harbors leave room for speculation about civilizations far more advanced than our own. But before jumping to conclusions of alien intervention, scientists are diligently examining every aspect of Explorer 1's irregular behavior. Whether the spacecraft's anomaly is due to a technical glitch, cosmic radiation, or something else entirely remains to be seen. However, one thing is certain. The mysteries of space continue to intrigue and inspire us, driving our relentless quest for knowledge and understanding of the cosmos.